Rob Hannis here with Preparedness Podcast. We are back at the 50,000 watt AM transmitter site. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I've got I got five sticks here pumping out 50,000 watts. And what we're going to test today is we're going to, we're testing the Faraday cages again. But this time, I want to test two galvanized steel trash cans nested within inside one another because it occurred to me that for those items that need to have uh, uh, a battery charged on a regular basis, constantly wrapping up in foil and unwrapping in foil and throwing that foil away, and it, it would be, you know, something you'd have to do if you want to protect your your items and there was no other choice. But I think this is going to work. So, what well, what we're going to be testing here is we're going to be looking at obviously the larger can with a smaller can nested inside. Now I got the same radio. The only difference is that this time I have a an external speaker and that's because I want the volume as loud as possible so I can hear it. Now what I did is I tested um, I tested the speaker with my iPhone connected it to played some music as loud as it went and I could hear the music uh, just fine through both cans so I know I can hear the music and it's not a, an audio dampening um, where I can't hear it anymore so when I can't hear music that's telling me that the signal isn't going to the radio. I'm going to crank up the radio, it's going to be loud, then I'm going to put the can on, uh, the lid on this can, and then we're going to put it in the other can and we'll see what happens. As you can see already, there's some dampening. I don't know if you can still hear it. I'm going to touch the camera. Hopefully you can still hear that it's playing. I can, I can just barely hear it. Now I'm going to put it in the uh, larger Faraday can, and a actually at this point, I, I can't I can't hear the radio anymore. Uh, my son says he can hear it. I can't hear it anymore. But when we put the lid on for the outer can, uh, it, it's dead. Here I will. I'll put it. Put the camera right next to the can so you can try to listen. And as you can see, there's no sound waves coming through there which means that the AM signal is being attenuated. So this is a good solution. Um, you can go ahead and store your, your deep store items, items that don't have to come out. You can store in the bottom and then you can prop this can on top and I would store something on top so the lid doesn't touch this, you know, old, old sheet or blanket or something. And as you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of room underneath there that you can store some some radios that that you can remove all the batteries from and then the stuff you need to charge uh, or get access to on a regular basis you can store in this upper can which simply just lifts out and as you can see it's it makes a, a good faraday cage uh, the double nesting really helps whether you're using foil inside the big can or even foil inside the little can as long as the inside isn't touching the uh whatever's inside isn't touching the inside of the faraday cage and likewise as long as this or the foil pack isn't touching the uh, inside of this cage you're nesting you've got two nested faraday containers that are dampening out 50,000 watts of am signal which is absolutely uh, one of the best things we can do to test other than say an actual emp generator or uh, 100,000 watts of AM, which there's only like a few in the country, so I don't have access to. But this convinces me enough that given the scientific uh, opinion that one single galvanized trash can would be enough, uh, in my opinion, based on these tests, either foil wrap devices inside a can or a double walled uh, container of two cans is going to be really good Faraday protection for your devices against an electromagnetic pulse. This is Rob Hannes for the Preparedness Podcast out here testing Faraday cages.